Now notice the front of this plate, other than the full ceramic plate, you don't have a lot of that ceramic blowback because that ultra, uh, ultra high molecular ultra weight polyethylene. High molecular weight polyethylene helps protect the ceramic inside of the plate so it doesn't have anywhere to go. Cramped. Cramped. Sure, and as we look on the ground, no water. Looks like it didn't spring a leak. No bullets in the bucket. So right now, Travis, we're about 14 rounds, uh, if I'm counting correctly. I'm out of ammo in that mag. We've got another mag reloading right now. And like I said, we're going to keep going until we punch a hole through it. We did have two go through. Um, oh, yeah. This one isn't a full penetration. If you focus in here, here's the actual round right there. That's most of the round, what's left of it uh, after it travels through the actual piece of armor. Um, again, if you look at the groupings on them, those groupings are really tight. Um, you know, so it could have had more buildup in there and the round actually hit the buildup and punched it through. Um, it's tough to say because again, you know, we far exceeded the manufacturer's recommendation for hits allowed. Right. But as far as, I mean, for law enforcement, this is usually the plate that I recommend. It is the probably most comfortable and most common plate. 